And now we're on to number two, uh, herbed buttermilk chicken. And this is a beautiful recipe for all different kinds of reasons. Uh, mm -hmm. So uh, this is going to include a beautiful buttermilk sort of marinade. So yes. uh, take us through the steps, Gina. Okay, Des, so we start again with about two pounds of our delicious drumsticks, and we are going to make this delicious herbed buttermilk marinade. Something I absolutely love about this recipe is that you can get it ready the night ahead or first thing in the morning, and you pop it in the fridge for about six to eight hours, and you let the beautiful buttermilk marinade with all the herbs infuse into the chicken. It's gonna do its work. It's gonna do its work, and that buttermilk tenderizes the chicken. So. Let's get started. Let's. All right, so we start out with one cup of buttermilk and a trick is to buy the full fat buttermilk. Okay. So the 3.25% because then you have a nice creamy delicious marinade. Richer, yeah. And then I'm going to get you to add a tablespoon of each Dijon mustard. Okay. Perfect. For a little bit of flavor flavor. Oh, yes. Okay. So many nice flavors going on in this recipe. A tablespoon of our olive oil. Nice. A tablespoon of our fresh rosemary, or you could use about half the amount of dry. Okay, fresh, okay, fresh is perfect. Always nice if you can swing and, that. Yeah, and then sort of like you know the savory and the sweet. This balances out yeah. with about a tablespoon of our honey. Yes, so uh, about 300 Western Canadian um, beekeepers. It's a it's a collective, and a lot of them right here uh, in Manitoba. That's bee made honey. So we're we're always so happy to feature it on the show. We've been so able to do nice. a lot of that this season. So thank you. Okay, wonderful. And then we've got about a teaspoon of garlic powder, salt, and paprika. So you can just see there are so many flavors into this marinade. And then of course some delicious poultry seasonings. This is marjoram, half a teaspoon, or you can use oregano if you have that on hand. Sure. Thyme and sage. And then, of course, our fresh ground black pepper. I'm not going fast enough for you here, Gina. You are doing great. Okay. So Got it all in there. Des, I'm going to get you to give that a really do we whisk nice now? whisking. Yes, we do. Right. There it is. It's so, yeah. Oh, you know what? Those herbs, so nice. A little bit of warmth, a little bit of, of sweetness, and then you've got that tangy, you know, buttermilk. Yes. Which, again, as you said, really is kind of an ideal uh, pairing with chicken because it just like tenderizes it does, and yeah. Mm, mm -hmm. okay. All right. It's a beautiful pairing with chicken. Oh, I can smell those fresh herbs, especially that rosemary. It's working. So, Des, that looks perfect. Again, just so simple. And I'm going to have you just pour that over our two pounds of chicken drumsticks in sort of a zigzag pattern. Zigzag. <laughs> yeah. Pattern. There na, we go. Na, 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 na. <laughs> perfect. This the, is the looking whole thing. So, you want the, the whole, whole thing. thing. Because you know what? We were talking about this. That marinade after it comes out of the oven. Oh my goodness! Have some crusty bread like on you hand. You can actually use it as a like a sauce. Yes, you can. Later. Yeah. Right. So what I like to do before I pop this in the fridge to marinate is I like to move all those drumsticks around to get that marinade underneath the chicken and on top of the Make chicken. Make sure it's you did touching every, every yep, part of it. Yep, indeed. Yeah. And then just cover this, pop it in your fridge for okay. six to eight hours. When you get home from your busy day, all you do is bring it out, put it on the counter, set your oven to 400 degrees, and then bake that chicken for about 45 to 50 minutes. So okay. what we can smell baking again is our delicious herb. Let's have a look. But let's shall have a peek. I think we should. Oh, oh my goodness. This. You're going to love this. You're going to love this. Oh, very nice. Oh my goodness. Boom. Looks good. Smells great. It really does smell uh, nice. absolutely incredible. And I know that you said, uh, was it 45 to 15 minutes? Yeah. But you never want to kind of guess with nope. chicken. Um, and so you've got your handy right. dandy thermometer. My favorite kitchen tool yep. is a digital meat What's thermometer. What's the best way to measure these to make sure, or, or sorry, to measure the temperature, to right. make sure that, because you have to be careful of the bone, right? Good point. So when you are using a digital meat thermometer, you want to insert the probe into the thickest part of the chicken meat. You do not want to touch the bone. So for chicken parts like our drumsticks, it should be 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. And that is the best way to know that your chicken is properly cooked. And one other really important trick with this recipe is you want to let your chicken rest. So when it comes out of the oven, you've got that perfect temperature, just tent it with foil, let it rest for about five to 10 minutes, and that lets all the juices settle back into the meat and you are guaranteed delicious, flavorful chicken every single time. 
Wonderful. So, of course, all of these recipes available at greattastemb.ca. So, give this one a try. Give the hoisan chicken, mm -hmm. uh, this manitoba chicken on a drum roll. But we have one more we recipe do. that we're going to share with you here in just a moment. Uh, and this one is sure to become a family favorite. And it's really pretty quick as well. Uh -huh. That's another great thing about these recipes that Gina brings. So, uh, hang on for Cajun chicken drumsticks when we come back on Great Taste of Manitoba. You're watching Great Tastes of Manitoba, brought to you in part by Manitoba's farmers and ranchers. Local farms, local foods.